Hello, my inky friends. Thank you for visiting me again today on my YouTube channel and blog. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm happy you found us. My name is Cindy Lynn with My Inky Fingers, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. For today's video, as promised, I'm going to show you how I store and catalog my obscene amount of stamps. I'm going to show you how I store all of my non-Stampin' Up! stamps, some of my really old retired Stampin' Up! stamps, and of course my current Stampin' Up! stamps. So the first thing I'm going to go through is my two inch binder. This has been with me for nearly two decades. And in here, I had purchased a very long time ago a alphabet divider set. So this divider set is A to Z giving me 26 categories. I won't bore you with all of the categories I've got in here. I will list all of them on my blog so you have an idea of how I catalog. Now for me this works because when I need a certain sentiment or a certain type of stamp, a certain occasion, I can go right to here, I can go to Love and Hearts and Valentine, I can go to Christmas and Winter, Halloween, what have you, open up that divider and find what I need in the shortest amount of time possible. So what I do is I'm going to actually open it up to the very first category and I've pulled this out of the page protector but I'm going to show you the page protector first. Your page protectors are wider than the actual pages that your letters come on for your dividers so I cut off the letters off of the divider and all I did was use a piece of double-sided tacky tape to adhere that there and this they are not coming off I mean guys these have been in here for easily two decades I mean and those I mean they've been in here so long that the tape is turned yellow so definitely take them off and put them on your page protectors so when I get a stamp set this one happens to be an acrylic stamp set that came with the acetate with the actual letters written on it I will take the stamps off of those and I will tape this to a piece of copy paper and I'll write down the stamp set name and the coordinating container that I've stored them in. So for storage, I use these CD cases and I must have a little over 300 of these. And the nice thing is with your acrylic or photopolymer stamps, you can use both sides to store those in. Now if you're storing red rubber stamps, you can only put them in one layer deep. You can't put them on both sides because the stamps are too thick. I'll try and, I don't know if you can see that, but they are a lot thicker. Therefore, if you were to put stamps on both sides, your case wouldn't close. Now when you get your case, it comes with a black plastic insert. Just put something underneath it, pop it right out, easy peasy, and then you can store your stamps in it. And I just find that for my non Stampin' Up! stamps that this doesn't take up a lot of real estate. Now I do like the CD cases, but I have seen people store them in sleeves in bins and whatnot. For me, I don't have the space for all of the bins and I didn't want to flip through them. I didn't want my, my sleeves getting dog-eared. I didn't want to have to do all the labeling. The only labeling I had to do was with a Sharpie marker and write the actual CD case number on the spine and the Sharpie marker will stay there for forever and ever. So this works for me. So now if you happen to have some stamps that you don't have a case, a cover for, or an insert or something you can copy, trust me, stamping them one time on a piece of copy paper is going to save you so much time in the future. Even taking an entire day or two days, depending on how many stamps you have, and cataloging, creating this system, stamping them all in here is going to save you an exuberant amount of time down the road. So when I have to stamp them, as you can see, I have many miscellaneous stamps here. So I'll just write a little number on each of the stamps so I know which coordinating container that they're kept in. And of course, if I have the acetate, I will tape that in there. So it's a super, super easy way to just stay organized, get everything cataloged, save yourself some time and effort when you need a stamp, and then you've got your go-to. So with that being said, now we'll move on to how I store my Stampin' Up! stamps. Now, I only recently returned to Stampin' Up! in November of 2019, so I don't have quite an overflow yet. I'm in a one-inch binder. I made my own dividers on my Cricut. This isn't a Cricut tutorial, but if you have a Cricut, 
I will put the file for these tabs on my blog, but if you're a Cricut user, I'm sure you know how to do it. So these, I have very simple categories. I have sentiments, characters and people, birthday, which I have nothing in there right now, sympathy, I have nothing in there right now, flowers, and then my special, these are just, or seasonal, excuse me, these are just seasonal stamps, assorted, miscellaneous, special is where I happen to be keeping my paper pumpkin, I'll probably rename that, celebration, and then the mini, and then my dies. And then for the dies, I just mark them all off. If you haven't seen how I store my dies, I do have a video that explains how I go through this and what I do to store all of my dies and how I print all of these labels. So you're welcome to look at that. I will link it up above for you in a card. And then I have my retired. And the nice thing is I can just take them out of regular rotation and move them into retired. Now these here, you've probably already guessed, they're the actual insert. So all I do is I remove the insert as soon as I get a new stamp set. And I put this face down in my photocopier and I print it. I then just fold it in half and then I have a full half sheet that I tape down to another piece of copy paper and then two can fit side by side. Now, as a demonstrator, if you're a demonstrator or if you just like this extra cataloging system, I have these tiny little stickers. These ones are my older ones. They've been around for so, so long. But these little stickers, I just take my marker and I color the entire sticker and then I'm able to mark the stamps. Now, green is retired and purple means that I've added the dies. As you can see here, I've added an actual piece of magnetic sheet just to keep the dies and the stamp set in the same case. So when this is closed and on the shelf, I can see here the name of the stamp set and that it also has the dies in it. And on the back, I've actually printed the actual insert for the dies. Again, this is in my How I Store My Dies video. Now, when you begin your cataloging, you may not have all of these different inserts to copy. And that's okay, because again, you can just stamp them all one time, write the stamp set and the coordinating case that they're in. Now, a lot of my old Stampin' Up! stamps, Fishy Friends, Rough Day, these are all in CD cases. Anything that has these, I know are in that actual case. And these I store in my spare bedroom, which is my craft overflow room. And they're all alphabetical. And then in the back of the book, I just have all of my retired dies. And I don't have too many retired dies, fortunately, because I just purchased most of these since November 2019. So it's very nice that I don't have too many that are retiring. So that was short and sweet. Let me know in the comments below if you like any of these cataloging and storing ideas. Let me know if you have your own system. I'd love to hear what you do. And until I see you again, take care and happy stamping.